Now here's something that could drive you a bit nutty if you don't know what to do to fix it. Um, so here we go. Our widget works. It's all cool. Changing images in the background. Um, our menu works. Yeah, we need to sort of uh, obviously clean this up and get rid of this. Uh, but what doesn't work is, look at that. Over here, what's happening is it's not actually um, doing it. Right here, the menu is not working. When obviously, it should. It's more important that it works here because we're going to end up uh, relying on this J panel menu and not this. Um, so, what's the deal? Well, let me tell you what's actually happening here. According to our script, our JavaScript with which runs, you know, from up to down and in, in, in like a script, you know. We actually initiate all this functionality here in this menu, and then we only initiate our J panel menu and uh, our instance of J panel, then turn it on at the end. So what's happening then is that J panel menu, when you actually start looking at how it works and you sort of read what's going on over here. Um, J panel menu is actually going to create another element that acts as this part. So what we know according to this section, how does this thing work, is that we want to add uh, a display none here to get rid of this, but since it actually creates another one, we want to put the instance of J panel. We want that to happen first and then our functionality to show and hide stuff happen afterwards. So we could fix this problem very simply by I'm going to cut the J panel menu from the bottom of the script and put it right at the top. I don't need it at the, I don't need it at the very top. I just need it before button functionality like we have here. And now uh, I didn't refresh it yet, right? This doesn't work. Well, let's give this guy a refresh, and now, dun da da, it works. So again, just to understand why this works, and you know why I even thought of fixing it, J panel menu. Once you turn it on, it creates another div element, which is your actual menu, and um, by us making that happen last then the portion of our script that gives our elements that functionality that when they're clicked on they show and hide the different things don't different images don't actually get applied to this new instance that jpanel did um, if jpanel worked differently you know maybe we could have it at the end but the point is we got to work with what we got or what we're using so um, the fix in case your panel menu isn't working and your initiation and on function aren't there is to put it at the very beginning before you initiate your button functionality